Greetings, my unique Sagittarians. Uh, this is Soul, Intuitive Tarot for Unique Souls. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for my unique Sagittarians uh, for the week of September 7th to September 13, 2015. Um, I'm just going to jump right into the reading. If there is anyone out there uh, who is interested in securing a reading uh, with me, I will provide a link to my website and uh, you can proceed from there. So, and then I also want to thank my new subscribers and all the wonderful people, of course, uh, who continue to follow my channel and the work that I am doing. I really appreciate all the support. So, let's begin with your reading right away. What I am seeing, um, the energy for my Sagittarians going into the week of... Uh, September 7th to the 13th, uh, we have the Emperor, uh, which is in reverse. And because the Emperor is in reverse, it's a major arcana. I always associate major arcanas with major life events. Uh, this particular card being in the reverse for the energy for some of my Sag Sagittarians, uh, please keep in mind that these messages uh, will resonate with some of you, but not all of you. Uh, but I feel that because the uh, emperor is in the reverse, I feel that some of uh, my Sagittarians will be going into the week feeling somewhat, you know, out of control and somewhat a little bit out of order. Uh, and I think that From one of the, you know, the energy that I'm picking up is that some of you, yeah, again, will be feeling somewhat out of control and uh, some sort of uh, disorder going on in your life. Now, this may be related to um, something as simple, and it may not be simple, but I feel that there could be uh, some, you know, like some legal issues or court battles or something that some of you may have to deal with. I feel that um, on the positive note with this emperor in the uh, reverse, for some of you who are dealing with issues, possibly from receiving, um, you know, speeding tickets in the past, I feel that you're going to either win your case are the cases, you know, possibly dropped for some reason? But I feel I'm, I'm getting something to do with, you know, speeding. Someone, you know, um, having to receive a, a speeding ticket in the past. Uh, but I feel that uh, there, if there's an upcoming court date uh, during this week, September 7th to the 13th, I feel that you, you will win your case or it will be dropped. Um, but it's mostly uh, energy-wise about some sort of disorder and feeling uh, out of control uh, not necessarily a lot of out of control but just I feel that some of you are going into the week feeling like you're out of control and you know uh, some areas of your life it could be your love life it could be your you know your job it could be your family but there's something someone and it also could be uh, with the emperor in the uh, reverse um, you're feeling, uh, you know, less authoritative uh, and bossy, uh, but there is some sort of disorder and a loss of control. So that's the energy going in for the week for you. I feel uh, for some of my Sagittarians uh, for September 7th to the 13th. Uh, what we have in your recent past is the uh, Nine of Cups in the reverse. Uh, and I feel from this energy, um, we're talking about you know, yesterday going back to, you know, six months or so, I feel that some of you may have, you know, possibly entered into a relationship or started dating someone uh, that is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Uh, even with the, and this is for female and male energies, even with the card in the reverse, it's still a good card because it was all about, uh, you know, connecting with someone on an emotional level. But I feel, but it's you know in the reverse some of you are still maybe testing the waters of the new person um that you're possibly uh seeing and if it you know you're already in an established relationship i'm just picking up energy wise that some of the uh emotional uh aspects of the relationships 
may not be sitting well with you. It's not a bad thing. I just feel that for some of you that I'm picking up the uh, energy and the messages to say that some of the emotional, there may even have been a, an emotional letdown regarding regarding a relationship or you know someone um, that you're dating. It could have been. Okay, this is what I'm getting. It could have been something that you may have been anticipating uh, with regards to a relationship or someone that you were dating and that person let you down and it's sort of like it was an emotional letdown. Uh, and this is not necessarily the case for all my Sagittarians because I do feel that some Sagittarians are on, you know, are in stable, solid uh, loving relationships. So I'm just picking up messages for the ones that I'm feeling. There was an emotional letdown by someone that you're dating or in a relationship with, uh, possibly a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, of those signs. It could be someone who carries the water sign energy in their rising. Uh, but this is what I'm picking up for the past energy uh, going into the week of September 7th to the 13th. In your middle position going into the week, uh, we have the temperance. This is another major arcana. Um, and again, it's associated with um, a major life event. And the temperance is all about, you know, striking up a balance. Uh, and that could be in all areas of your life. Specifically, I'm speaking of the energy overall for my Sagittarians where I feel some of you are going to have some sort of uh, disorder or feeling out of control by the middle of the week you'll regain that control and order and you'll strike a balance uh, the temperance is all about uh, striking a balance and, and being you know creative and passionate and um, you know over excuse me overall feeling good about yourself because you have achieved a balance in whatever area or whatever was close to you that was out of disorder related to the emperor uh, in the reverse so I feel that's pretty good um, going into the middle of the week uh, so what we have on the tail end of the week we have ruin uh, which is the ten of swords in this particular uh, deck and I feel that the the swords is a you know dealing with at least the ten of swords is all about and it's in the uh, upright too um, I need to mention that but I feel that some of my Sagittarians will be experiencing some sort of betrayal. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be related to a relationship, but it could be. But there's going to be some sort of deception or betrayal or backstabbing. And this could come from a family member. It can come from a co-worker. It can come from, you know, your significant other, the person that you're dating. Uh, I'm feeling that it may come from particularly an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius individual. So be mindful of that. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, mental activity, I feel, with this um ten of swords in the upright and since it is a ten I always associate the tens with an end of a cycle so it could be that some of my Sagittarians are ending a cycle of having to have dealt with some sort of mental conflict or you know uh, possible lies or deceptions by others and uh, betrayals and backstabbing um, brought on by others and it could just also be as well a lot of mental activity that you were just trying to sort out in your head regarding uh, what whatever you know was you know close to you uh, if it was a relationship or if it was a situation we were dealing with a friend and you were having some problems with that friend or it could have been someone uh, you know at your job it could have been your boss that was creating some uh, a lot of mental activity or stress for you uh, but it is a cycle that's that's closing. And so being that it's in your third position and the outcome and the end of the week, you'll get over whatever it was that you had to deal with uh, that brought on that strife for you. So that's what I have for my unique Sagittarians for the week of September 7th to the 13th. Now, I have also decided to use the uh, same card deck that I used for the um, support messages for the love readings that I did for you on September and the card that I have chosen for you is um, 
simply uh, remembrance. And on the back of this card, it says, Remember the light within your heart is the same light as the rays of the sun and the glow of the moon. The same energy that moves the ocean tides also stares inside your heart. What is it, excuse me, what is it that your heart truly desires? Um, what have you not said to someone that you would like to say? Find and express your truth. So that's a very good message on this card of uh, uh, remembrance. So for anyone out there uh, who's in a relationship or if you're dating someone, and, and it doesn't necessarily have to be, it could be just someone that you're close to, it could be a friend, um, just you know, speak from your heart uh, with that individual. Or if there's something that you know you need to speak up about you know speak your truth to that person if you know you like someone and uh, you want to see you know all right I'm gearing this to a relationship now if you like someone and they don't know that you have feelings for them uh, this card is asking you to speak speak your truth and uh, don't be afraid to put it out there uh, but generally this is a good message just to um, always be true to yourself in your heart in all matters, whether it's, you know, related to a uh, relationship or family uh, situation at your job. Uh, just speak up and speak your truth. OK. All right. So that's what I have for my unique uh, Sagittarians for the week of uh, September 7th to the 13th, 2015. Once again, I want to thank you for uh, visiting my channel. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, comment dislike it doesn't matter uh happy or should i say yeah happy memorial day to you all i i wish you all to be safe and still praying and hoping for all of my sagittarians uh who are looking for love in the month of uh, september that love comes their way uh until the next time i want to wish you all love and life be safe take care bye bye